Problems can occur in generally three places. One, your understanding of the passage. Two, your understanding of the question. And three, your understanding of the answer choices, right? But your foundation is going to be in part one there, the passage. And the fact that you're going back and you're not sure says mm -hmm. to me that you're reading the passage too fast and you're not visualizing it enough to mm -hmm. own it. One thing to keep in mind is that these passages are only 15 sentences long. Yeah, maybe 13, maybe 16, but they're, they're not that many sentences. So you just have to slow down and make sure you understand each sentence very clearly so you can see what the author is saying. And almost imagine yourself talking to the author in real time and, you know, if you're, ta if you're having a conversation with someone and you really want to understand what they're saying, if they say something that doesn't make sense, it's not good to just sit there silently. Because the, everything that comes after that sentence that didn't make sense is like slightly harder to follow, right? Half your mind is like thinking about what was said before and half your mind is trying to... To, follow, to see how everything fits together, but you have this like gray area that you missed. So as you're reading the passage, if you encounter anything that's not crystal clear, 100%, then you have to stop and reread that sentence and maybe think about it. And then you get ah, like, oh, okay, I think I know what you're trying to say. And then you keep going. It's gonna slow you down in the passage, but you are very unlikely to have to go back more than once.